Browse the yellow papers. In the back you see thin translucent copier paper, some neon yellow, some bright red, all covered in boxes like marching armies. These look like official forms waiting to be filled out. Then rip them from the binder and hand them out according to type of form. What types of forms are there? Three. The topmost are misconduct fines, the middle ones are station calls, and the bottom most are field autopsy forms. Each is easy enough to make sense of. You don't have to be an intellectual giant to do police work. Station call. These are quite sinister in tone. They give a date and time for the person to appear at the specified precinct police station. Below the call are the criminal charges you risk by not appearing. All in a print so small it could be considered downright cute. Misconduct fine. Monetary penalisation ranging from 20 to 250 real. Severe cases allow for a thousand real, but that requires special paperwork. The details of issuing these fines are spread out over the rest of the fields. But they appear pleasantly vague. Field autopsy. A dozen pages of thin copy paper, bright red in colour. You see the parameters of a deceased human form waiting to be filled in. Age, sex, condition of internal objects. Organs. How did I read organs as objects? Enough of these! Yes, all that remains now is to fill those forms and hand them to people. Fines to wrongdoers, interview requests for bad guys, and field autopsies to dead guys. Mm, look at the clipboard. It's made of dark blue plastic hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The edges are rounded, however. The U4 size board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back you see the embossed letters RCM. Shake the ledger. Something rattles inside ever so lightly. Is there a hidden compartment? And something small inside? Light? Made of paper or cardboard? Or dried flowers perhaps? Permeables. It's not hidden per se. The compartment is made for permeable materials that would get damaged if something happened to it. Peek inside. The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it's not see-through. You cannot see to its center. How would I open it? With your hands, you four size pages hang from the clip screwed to the top of the board. 97% crack it on the knee like burr. Open the hidden compartment in the clipboard. Hmm, the two sides of the board appear slightly misaligned, like a drawer that's come off the slides. If you bend the plastic on your knee slowly, the slides snap back into place, it should be possible to just, you know, slide the drawer open. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other, the compartment is now open. What's inside? Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Pick up the ticket stubs. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles towards each other in the coloured pencil drawing. The tickets permit access to a zoo in Ravashol East. The aquarium costs extra, let these let you go there too. Kill yourself, you Arsa? The words just crossed your mind somehow. Who were they for? What who do you think? Right, pick up the card. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rusting when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, floral patterns, patches of glue. Smell it first. It smells of chewing gum, apricot flavoured. A touch of cinnamon. The end of summer. You think the label says tutti frutti. Open it. Familiar handwriting lines in the inside of the card. Looped round letters in a woman's hand. Visual calculus. A young woman in her twenties. There is a care, effort and a smile. You think, although that is not something you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins. You're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so that you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it will keep you happy, make you happy. Keep reading. Wait, I said keep reading. Your fingers are sweaty. There is a sweat mark where they held the wax paper. The card blanks and pick up the, pick up the card. Open it. Continue. Continue. Keep reading. Your hand shakes holding the card. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it has filled, it has filled me entirely. I step on the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I know it'll be like this until late afternoon when I get off the 49 and walk back to you. Keep reading. You, you, every step I will, I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul and I will always, always, always come back to it. Spoiler alert. She didn't. Keep reading. Kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air sucked out of your lungs and the blood sucked out of your head. Everything around you gets dark. Small white dots appear. Barks fall like snow from the bow collector. A streetcar distancing. Ah, oh, you feel the ledger slip from your hands. Fall sideways. Title screen. Or, or if I hit an end screen. Ah, oh, Jesus. There is nothing. Oh, that was an end. Really? Again. Nothing. Nothing said, brother. No treachery, just blackout. Just lie there, passed out. Well, almost nothing. 
There is the ground below you, that's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Who's that? That's me. Blue eyes. That's me. And who was that? Who was what? He speaks of the sickening longing. The unwell emotion. Even in the darkness he's grasping for it. Still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. Slimy. No, I was cool. I'm cool. The cool when you're dead, brother. Here in the paleomammalian cortex, we call it the shadow. Because it's always there. Tell him, tell him. Ah, yes, and in the old factory system, they call it the apricot chewing gum scented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so, but as they say, what do you do? Smelled so nice. It didn't smell nice. It smelled like betrayal. Was that the X something? The bloated corpse of the past resurfacing? No, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape, its lack of beauty was not the problem. Where is Voyager Road? There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on. Pause. There was something about a bow collector too. Yeah, man. What was that about? Enough. Just lie there, motionless. You think they would let you? Until you disintegrate into biomolecule. No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. I'm not coming back. Oh, but you are. They're pouring something on you. In you. It's... It's delicious. Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. Where am I? In the unpolstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitaragi's motor carriage, seated in the driver's basket. The air is thick with leatherworks and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Drink! Water! The lieutenant is extending a small canister to your mouth. Drink. The water is cold, silvery, the stuff of life itself, as it pours down your parched throat. The pounding in your head recedes, the darkness parts. Drink! He tilts the canister. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? LIES! Hashtag fake news. You need a secondary form of hydration. Drink! With greedy gulps, you down half a litre of cold water. Some of it spills on the driver's seat. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. What happened? I should ask you the same! You were reading your paperwork, then you passed out. I carried you to my kinema to take you to a hospital. Then you came too. How long was I out? Ten minutes, maybe. I bucket start climbing out of the motor car. Item game, ledger of failure and hatred. Good, he hands you the waterlogged remains of your ledger. You drop this. Are you okay to proceed? Let's just nod. Just nod. Seems a bit much to be uh, screaming out that solved this case. Continue. Tutorial agent. The ledger of failure and hatred is a special item that can be used both as an interactable and a tool equipped in your hands for skill bonuses. Find it under the tool section of the inventory. 